A cholera epidemic has begun in Russian-occupied Avdiivka. The city has been closed for entry and exit. This was stated by the head of the Avdiivka City Military Administration, Vitali Barabash, on the air of a telethon. He recalled that Avdiivka was occupied by Russia in February 2024. According to him, the first few months, the Russian occupiers tried to launch the public utility service. People cleared the access roads and were paid 5,000 rubles for this. This has not happened for two weeks now because, according to information from several sources, there is a cholera epidemic in the city. That is, the city is closed to entry from Donetsk. People are not allowed out of the city, Barabash notes. He added that representatives of the occupation authorities bring in food products in special suits and gas masks, throw out this humanitarian aid and quickly leave. According to him, there are a lot of homeless dogs in the city that attack people. They say that there is a strong stench in the city from the bodies of dead people, and no one is looking into anything. This is probably why this cholera epidemic occurred. An epidemiological catastrophe is happening there, Barabash noted. The head of the Avdiivka MVA recalled that due to Russian shelling of the city, there were ruins left there, there was not a single surviving building. According to him, at the time when the defense forces withdrew from Avdiivka and the city was occupied, there were approximately 700 people left in it. And now, according to our data, although the information from there is coming in very locally in small volumes, 400 to 450 people remain in the city. Many of those who are waiting for the arrival of the occupation forces are already disappointed. Barabash said, he said that during the first two weeks after the occupation, more than 100 men who abused alcohol disappeared from the city. After that, already near Ocheretino, several of them were taken prisoner. They were almost unarmed, untrained like cannon fodder, but since the locals know the area, they were taken as if they were in a barrier detachment, said the head of the Avdiivka MVA. As Yunayan reported, the Russians captured Avdiivka in February, but instead of a small industrial center, they got complete ruins, which they turned the city into. The New York Times article noted that according to estimates by Ukrainian officials and British intelligence, since January the 1st, the Russian army has dropped about 500 tons of air bombs on an area of only 30 square kilometers. The pre-war population of Avdiivka was 300,000 people. Russia's Black Sea resort city Sochi has been hit by heavy floods, thunderstorms and strong winds, local media reported on Tuesday. Weather forecasters predict landslides and a strong rise in water levels in rivers, while Primorskia embankment is partially flooded. Emergency services have issued a warning of the possibility of tornadoes. Local residents and tourists visiting the resort city have been advised to refrain from relaxing near the water, not to leave their cars under trees, billboards or other structures, and to refrain from going to the mountains. The strongest storm is observed in the Lazarevsky district where trees are being knocked down and it is impossible to get to the center because of the flooded streets. It has also been raining heavily in Adler Resort on the Black Sea, with a disaster expected there at night. According to meteorologists, the disaster will continue tomorrow as well. Heavy rains, Thunderstorms and hail, and a sharp rise in river levels are expected in Sochi as well as serious area in Krasnodar region. Experts predict mud flows in mountains. All resort services are working in enhanced mode. Смотрите, какой, а? Да. Нормальный, да, идет? Пятерка открыта же, да? Да.